To install WSUS, I'm just going to go to Add Roles and Features. And I'm going to, for the server, I'm going to choose the local machine I'm on, RTS-DC1. And when we get to the server roles, if we scroll down a bit, you'll see WSUS, Windows Server Update Service, is in the list. So I'm just going to choose that, and I'm going to add this long list of features here. A lot of these are web components like IIS and ASP, but we need all of those. So I'm just going to click Add Features, and we'll just go Next. We are not selecting any additional features, so Next for that. Now this just gives me some information about WSUS. It tells us the purpose of WSUS, which that we already know. So I'm going to choose Next. Now for this, it's asking me if I want this Windows Internal Database, or WID, do you want SQL Server connectivity? Now, the difference in the options here, WID connectivity actually installs the Windows internal database on the server itself. SQL Server connectivity just enables these connectivity components. You would have to go to a separate server and completely set up a SQL database server and do all those things. So this option here is not actually installing uh, SQL, just lets you connect to a database if you already have one. But we're going to use the Windows internal database, and we want the WSUS services. So we're going to choose Next for that. Now it's saying, do you want to store updates in the following location? And you specify a path. Right now, I'm just going to clear this because I don't want to store the updates in any path. So I'm going to clear that. If you don't, it will take an eternity for this to actually install because it's going to try to download a lot of updates. So I'm going to clear that and click Next. For the web server component, we're not changing anything here. It's just telling us it's going to install ASP.NET, IIS, a few other things. The role services, we're not selecting anything there. That's all default. And now we will just install. The install has completed. Now I'm going to click Launch Post Installation Tasks. Now you can click that there, and now it says, please wait while your server is configured. It also shows up here, where you'll see it's actually running with a little blue bar pulsing across. So if you had closed that window, you could simply click on your notifications and you could just run it directly from there. But that'll take a while, so we'll just let that run. That has now completed, so we have WSUS installed.